Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to talk about the 14 things you shouldn't do in Bali, Indonesia. So many people are coming here and therefore are so many blogs and vlogs about what you should do in Bali. But I'm here today to tell you what you shouldn't do. Because there are a lot of mistakes that I made when I first came here. I want to make sure that you're not going to make the same mistakes as I did. So with that further ado, let's go to tip number one. Don't do drugs. In Bali, the government takes drugs issues very seriously. If you're caught with drugs or you're involved in drugs trafficking, you can face hard punishments like going to jail for a long time or even being sentenced to death. Yeah, it's extremely important to avoid associations with drugs in Bali. Tip two, don't step on Balinese offerings. In Bali, there are special gifts. They call it Jankasri. People giving that to their gods every day. These gifts are small baskets made from palm leaves within pretty flowers. You can find them all over Bali. It's really important to be careful and not step on or disturb these offerings because it seems very disrespectful and it upsets the Balinese people. Tip three, don't drive if you're not good at it. Getting around Bali can be difficult. There are many vehicles on the road like cars, bikes, scooters. If you don't have much experience or you feel unsure about driving, it's important to be careful. Oh, there's a butterfly. You might want to think about using other ways to get around, using Grab or Gojek. With that, you help the local people as well. Remember to prioritize your safety. Tip four, don't get mad when people are honking at you. When you're in Bali, you hear a lot of honking from cars or scooters. It's a way for drivers to talk to each other. For me, it was really weird the first time because I'm from the Netherlands and honking is like an aggressive way to drive. If you're honking at someone, you're most of the times mad or ignored. But here, honking is like, hey, I'm here, or be careful for this or for that. Look at your right or look at your left. It's important to know that honking doesn't mean someone is mad at you. You didn't do anything wrong. They're just trying to be kind. So don't get upset and try to understand that honking is just a normal part of driving in Bali. Tip five, don't piss off the monkeys. When you visit places like Ubud or Uluwatu, you see a lot of monkeys. They can be interesting to watch, but it's really important to be respectful and not bother them. Remember, there are wild animals, and if you make them angry, they might bite you or hurt you, and make sure to keep your things safe. Always pay attention to what is happening around you. Be careful with your sunglasses, your phone, water bottles, because they love to grab all your stuff. Tip six, don't contribute the litter problem. We can all help keep Bali clean and beautiful. Don't throw it on the streets or in nature because that hurts the environment and the animals that live there. Let's team up and protect Bali's nature and environment. Tip seven, don't be disrespectful. The people in Bali are really friendly and nice. We should be nice and friendly to them too. It's important to be polite and not act like we are better than them. Let's respect their customs, traditions, and how they're living their life here. Actually, just do that always. Just be respectful to everyone. <laughs> Tip eight, don't bargain too much, especially for all the Dutch people, because we love to bargain. When you go shopping in Bali, you can try bargaining, which can be fun and sometimes they really like it, but it's important to be fair. The people selling things, they need the money to take care of their families. So when you're bargaining, make sure to do it in a respectful way. Find a price that works for both of you so that they can still make a living from it. Tip nine, don't use your left hand for giving or accepting things. I know this for a couple of weeks right now, but in Indonesia, they think each hand has a different meaning. The left hand is connecting with going to the toilet, so it seems as not clean. To be respectful, use your right hand when you give or take things like money or food or drinks. Doing this shows that you understand and appreciate their culture. Tip 10, don't just eat Western food. I know it can be tempting to eat just Western food, especially in Canggu and Semenyak, Uluwatu. They have like really good restaurants, they have everything. But don't forget to try the good Indonesian dishes as well. And when you eat local food, you're also helping the people that are living here. So be adventurous and enjoy the taste of Bali. But watch out for Bali bellies. You can get a little bit sick the first couple of weeks where you try to eat local food. Just be careful with chicken. Try the vegetarian version. Tip 11, don't come for a short amount of time. 
Bali has a lot of different things to see and do, so don't just come for a short visit. It's best to plan your trip for at least 10 to 14 days, like a week is way too short. That way you have enough time to explore all the beautiful places, learn about the culture and try different activities in different parts of the island. You will find amazing places that not everyone knows about, see stunning views and really understand what makes Bali so beautiful. Tip 12. Don't ignore the Balinese culture. Don't forget to explore the traditions, the ceremonies and arts of the Balinese people. You can watch traditional dances, visit temples and try out authentic cultural activities. It's a really special experience that you shouldn't miss. It will make your trip even more meaningful and memorable. Tip 13. Don't enter temples with your shoes. When you go to temples in Bali, it's important to follow their customs and be respectful. Wear clothes that covers your shoulders and your knees so they are modest. Also take off your shoes when you're entering temple areas to show that you honor the sacred place. And tip 14, the last one, don't leave your bag out at night. Remember to stay safe when you're driving at night. This is just to be sure. I'm not saying that it's dangerous to drive at night, but don't leave your bag out in the open where it can be easily grabbed by thieves. Keep it safe by putting it under your seat or in a locked place. By doing this, you can have a peaceful ride without any worries about someone taking your bag. Rain. So that's it. So these were my 14 things you shouldn't do in Bali. These are important tips to have a respectful and safe trip in Bali. By following these guidelines, you will have an amazing experience while also showing respect for the local culture and environment. I cannot wait for you to come to Bali and see all the beautiful nature, the wonderful culture and all the lovely people here. It's such a special island. You will absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're going to Bali or you have plans or what you want to know more about Bali. Don't forget to give it a like like and subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video.